Hello again everybody and welcome to another edition of On The Range. Today we're flying the A-10C Warthog and we're going to employ the gun using the low angle strafe technique. So the low angle strafe is well, exactly what it sounds like. We're going to be strafing a target from a low dive angle anywhere from anything from 0 to 15 degrees nose down. So let me begin by setting the cockpit up and getting the aircraft set up for what we have in mind. On my armor control panel I'm going to go master arm to arm and gun pack arm to arm. That's going to uh, provide power to the gun and let it do what it is that we need it to do. And we can confirm that the gun is ready to fire by the green gun ready light being illuminated on the forward panel. Okay, second, I need to put the HUD into the proper mode so that I have all, this, all the cues that I need to aim the gun displayed on the HUD. And I do that by depressing the master mode control button. And that's the button up on the right side of the, the stick. I depress it, and it steps through different HUD modes. Uh, one depress, depression of it went to the guns mode. If I hit it again, CSIP, CCRP, back to the nav mode, and back to guns. And this is where we're going to leave it for the majority of this demonstration. So at this point, I'm ready to fire. All I have to do is pull the trigger, the uh, red trigger switch on the forward, uh, forward part of the joystick. So let me take the autopilot offline and we'll go ahead and demonstrate what we're going to be doing on an actual Warning, target. Autopilot. So as I come around, I'll talk briefly about what we have to give us guidance on where the rounds are going to fall. And displayed on the HUD is a circle that's called the CSIF gun reticule. So let me zoom in briefly. And you can see the circle and two dots within the circle. Those dots are where the rounds are going to fall if we were to pull the trigger right now. We have two dots. Pull the up, top one is up. where our armor piercing incendiary API rounds will fall. And the bottom one is where our high explosive incendiary HEI rounds will fall. And since it does use in this gun with the combat mix two different types of ammunition at a 5 to 1 ratio, the ballistics of the ammunition is different. So the API will it has a little bit less drag than an HEI round, so it's going to fly a little bit more straight and true, whereas the HEI round is going to fall short. And you can see that perfectly depicted right there by those two dots. So that's what we're going to be using to aim. Now you do get a lot of information thrown at you on the HUD, but for a guns run, you're really focused on, on the reticule and the information that the reticule provides. So in addition to the the two dots showing us where the rounds are going to fall. You can see at the bottom that it has a number displayed. Right now it's a 2.5 and if I bring the nose down slightly you'll see that number start to decrease. That number is slant range to target. In other words if I were to draw a line from the front of my aircraft to the target that's exactly how far it would be. Altitude. So we're about uh, coming up on a half mile slant range to target. Pull up. Pull up. And that becomes important because the closer you are to the target, uh, generally speaking, Actually, not generally. The closer you are to the target, the more effective the gun is. But that does come with a trade-off. Also, the closer you are to the target, the more effective the target is at shooting back at you. That's always a consideration. And if you push in too close, you have to consider where your aircraft is going to be when it comes to flying through uh, rounds as they explode, if it's a high, high explosive round hitting the ground, or if a round were to ricochet, you know, if you fire too close, then you're in the risk of flying through your own rounds as they ricochet and bounce around the ground. Okay, and we actually have two indications on the gun reticule for slant range to target. We see the number on the bottom, and that's nautical mile slant range, coming up on about two miles. And then we have a ring on the inner portion of the dial. You can see it tracking around from the 12 o'clock to the 9 o'clock position. That is also slant range to target, except that is in feet. The 12 o'clock position, and we bring it back up to 12 o'clock, that's 12,000 feet slant range as it comes around, 11, 10,000, 9,000, and etc, etc. It just comes around that 6,000 foot slant range. Altitude, altitude. And that gives you an idea of exactly how far away you are from the target. And that becomes important when you're you're actually employing the gun, as we'll see here in just a second. So let's set up for our first pass. We're going to 
begin by employing the gun on some trucks out here in the distance that I just happen to have called up as my current steer point to uh, give us a uh, uh, give me a better idea of where I need to point the aircraft and start picking up the targets visually. Okay, so let me bring it around to the right and pick up a little bit out bit of altitude so that we're going to fire in a shallow dive for this low angle strafe. Anything up to about a 15 degree dive. And for this one I'll say probably about 5 to 10 degrees. So as I come around and start to pick up the targets that I wish to employ on, what I want to do is place the gun reticule just short of the target and then evaluate the situation. And 10 degrees to go. Let's bring it on around. Okay, so there are my targets out in the distance and I can see them uh, clearly now. So place the reticule short of the target area and then start to evaluate the situation. I want to employ on these guys around 4,000 feet slant range. I've got a long ways to go. I'm two miles slant range out and now it's starting to de decrease uh, 10,000 feet, 9,000 feet. When I get to the area where I want to start employing the gun, I want to depress the trigger to the first detent, pack one that's going to stabilize me. 4,000 feet, pull up, pull squeeze up. the trigger for a two second burst, pull over the horizon, and, and get out of the area. Okay, so that was a pretty effective run on that first target, and you can see the others uh, beginning to take evasive action. Nice, okay. And I'm just going to set up an erase track pattern here and roll in on those other targets. So that was a basic, uh, a pretty basic run. I mean, all, I, all the world that I did there was point at the area so that I would be sure to overfly the target, place the reticle short of the target. Once I get to the range where I intend to start employing rounds on the target, I then depress the trigger to the first detent. That engages the precision attitude, attitude control system, which helps me stabilize. It basically just kind of locks it in and damps out any you know, wild erratic movements that, that could naturally occur, stabilizes it on the target, and then when I'm ready to fire at my desired slant range, in that case it was around 4,000 feet, I pull the trigger and send a good two second burst into the target area. And then I do what's called a safe escape maneuver. That was where I pulled up and got out of the area, ensuring that, you know, I wasn't overflying the target unnecessarily and that I wasn't going to fly into my own uh, bullets and my own fragmentation that I just created. Okay, so we'll come around for one more pass and demonstrate uh, once again the low angle strafe technique. Okay, so coming around picking up visual and you don't have to track the target as long as I'm tracking it for this demonstration. You know, you could just roll in, give yourself, you know, uh, give yourself time to evaluate the target and evaluate the situation, but you know, you can make it as quick as just rolling in, taking two seconds to track, firing off your rounds and getting out of the area. I'm doing this uh, very deliberately this time around. Okay, so I picked up the targets in the distance, and I'm just generally placing my reticule into the right general area, and I'm going to take that truck out on the right side. Now for a, I'll do something a little bit different. I'll demonstrate a long range type strafe. I'll fire at about a six to 7,000 foot slant range, because for this target, I don't need a whole lot of penetration. Okay, so coming down, I'm going to go to pack one, stabilize it. Coming down to about 7,000 foot slant range, squeeze, two second burst, pull for the horizon, and let's get out of this area. Okay, it looks like a pretty good, pretty good run as well. And two, two targets down. And since these targets, I mean, they're just trucks, they're not armored, so I don't have to worry so much about getting in close and ensuring that my rounds penetrate the target like I would on, uh, you know, for example, if I was trying to take out a tank. So folks, I'll get into a lot more detail on the gun and the different uh, techniques and the different gun sights, but that is the low angle straight on softly armored targets. So if you found this video useful, please do consider subscribing to the channel and definitely drop a like in the and leave a comment in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.